successful way to do it is actually give them something really easy that they can build on and be successful at. And then if they are successful at it, they feel almost invigorated to, hey, I did a really good job, I can move on to the next step because I did that last one. So for example, going for a walk for 10 minutes and then they come back a month later and they say, you know, we walked 10 minutes after a meal, every meal, for the la or after every meal in the supper time um, for the last month. Uh, we did it and you can say okay well great 10 minutes was awesome let's go and work on 15 minutes or half an hour or why don't you add playing soccer after supper. Um, I was divided into sections so I talk about the, uh, the, the intake food intake. I like to, to sort of I often I'll draw a picture on the table paper that describes you know and essentially what you put in and what you put out are the, are the two ins and outs and if you take in more energy than you're putting out then you're going to end up with a with a uh, with an increase in weight, if you put out more energy than you take in, then you're going to lose weight. And then I always take it and show the curves to the families, and I have it on my on my electronic chart, and I can just turn it and show the families where they are in the curve and help them that way. So it's not always a long discussion, but it's even just a teachable moment or a teachable opportunity. And you have to make it as easy as possible for parents initially, because if they don't buy into it initially, then they're not going to, and then and they're not successful at it. If they're not successful at it initially, they're not going to continue listening to you. Sometimes I say, all right, what I want you to do for the next few weeks is go home and record just in a very general way for everybody, the, everybody in the family, how much screen time they're getting every day. So once I have an idea of that, then we talk about what they do in their spare time. Because sometimes if you just come out and say how much physical activity do your children get, people really don't know what you're talking about or they might just talk about the structure physical activity that they're getting like the lessons that they're in and all that of course is important but there's so much more to activity than just being active so it is we talk about um, what do you do after school do they have planned activities and lessons like karate swimming etc do they have games free time free play exactly what kind of things they do after school and then after supper as well and then what kind of things they do on the weekends.